that's a wrap. It's Monday. Got a lot done. Pretty much spent the entire day outside sanding, which probably got a little sunburn around my mask lines, but I'm not complaining. I was not sitting in a cubicle inside, missing this beautiful 60 degree day, almost 70. Holy crap, it was amazing. Anyway, I got a couple of little guys all branded up, nice and warm, nice and toasty, real party. I'll get some oil on these tonight and we'll get some photos. Meh, we'll see when. And we'll get that fire sale going. Yeah, I'm excited about that. Made some little coasters today. These guys are cute. I love the. They're gonna be like handsome, not cute. They're handsome. Anyway, I got a lot done today. I'll see you later. Bye. Happy Tuesday, everyone. Originally my plan was to do admin stuff like one day a week, just dedicate the whole day to it, but I've been finding myself doing it every morning. I've been kind of liking that, like starting my day with an hour of it, maybe two, we'll see, you know, whatever it is. Um, it's been working, I like it, so I'm starting to find a rhythm, which is nice. But anyway, went and shipped some products off today and got a bunch of cutting boards up for sale on Facebook, so if you're following me over there, go check them out. Um, and I went and did a lumber run today. I've got, I don't know if you can tell, there's eight five quarter boards of ash by about six inches by 10 feet. Picking through the lumber racks today was kind of a bitch, to be honest. Really didn't enjoy doing it. I'm tired, but anyway, I got done with it. Whatever. I got some cherry, some walnut, more cherry out there. No, I lied. And Instagram cut me off. That is ash out there. I have to make a game board for someone that's going to go on the CNC. It's going to be double sided. So got ash ready to be cut up out there. So yeah, that's what I'm up to today. I still got lots of little itty bitty things that need to be turned into money. We'll see how far I get. I'm definitely not going to get through all of it, but you know, a girl can be ambitious, right? Happy Wednesday. I've just been out here milling up some lumber for some cutting boards. I got a big order coming for those. So I've been working on that. I finally finished designing that game board. That took three times as long as I anticipated. I don't know why I'm so bad at estimating design time, but I am. But anyway, so that's done. I am working on black walnut. I got all rough black walnut because they had crap at the lumber yard. But anyway, as I'm cutting it up, I notice that one of the pieces that I just cut has this big check in it that seems to be going end to end. Well, let me take a look at it. Sure enough, splits end to end. It's one of the downsides to buying rough lumber is you really don't know what's underneath. And sometimes you get in there and it's shit. Sometimes you get in there and it's beautiful. You really never know. It's kind of like meeting new people. You never know what you're gonna get. <laughs> My shop used to be clean. Now, it's just a sea of walnut. Can't really tell how much is over there, but at least the table saw is getting pretty, pretty good cleanliness out of it now. That's helping. Anyway, done for today. I got a lot milled up, but I spend, spent the majority of the afternoon fighting with my jointer, and I don't know if it's me, I don't know if it's the machine, I don't know if what it is. What it was frustrating. Thought I finally got the hang of it, then I realized that it was tapering all of the boards. And Don't send suggestions yet. Let me do some research and figure out what the deal is with this particular model and do some more learning on my own part. And then we'll go from there, okay? All right, have a good day. I'm gonna go get ready and then I'm going out with a friend. So, talk to you tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. Happy Thursday. Pretty sure it's Thursday. Um, I did a lot of research on the jointer and what was going on with it, and it was a multitude of things that I was struggling with yesterday. One, obviously you can see, this is very rusty. When I first bought it, I just popped it in here, didn't really clean it up at all, well, didn't clean it up at all. Um, I really haven't used it a lot. Yesterday was my first time putting it to the test. So 
The amount of rust on it makes it hard for boards to slide across, so I was pushing down really hard, which meant I was putting too much pressure on the infeed, not enough on the outfeed. That was one issue. Another issue, the outfeed is not set flush to the top of the cutter heads, so that was causing my tapering issue when I would take too big of a bite. Another issue, the fence doesn't actually stay straight. If you put too much pressure on it at all, really even pressure at all, it'll bow out no matter how hard I tighten this thing. So lots of issues, lots of issues, different things, large part of it, user error, lack of maintenance on my part. I'm definitely at fault here. Um, I just trusted when I got it that everything would be set right as far as the outfeed and cutter heads went, but you know the knives just, they're not in great shape either and just, Learning experience, that's what we're gonna chalk this one up to. I'm gonna soak this in vinegar for a couple hours, get it cleaned up, put some paste wax on it or whatever I have, um, and we'll see if that helps some of the issues. And then I also have to adjust the outfeed. Gotta figure out how to even do that on this old hunk of cast iron, who's a what's it. But anyway, I got some other computer work to do, so I'm gonna soak this, go in and get that done. See you later. figured the vinegar's out, why not give the table saw some love? So that's gonna sit for a bit, we'll let that soak. Uh, the jointer looks awesome, just got a coat of wax on it. It's real nice and slick. Um, and I figured, I got the wax out, why not give a coat to my hand planes? So they all just got nice little waxy soles. And well, you know what, I still have the vinegar out. I think that the bandsaw could use a little attention. That's what I'm gonna do, see ya. I am officially done for today. I got a lot done that I didn't plan on doing, but that's okay, it needed to be done, so that's good. Um, came inside and I had a package here from Woodcraft. Yes, I already opened it. It is a Wood River low angle block plane. My buddy Kevin at Woodcraft sent this over to me because I was probably the most obsessed person at WorkbenchCon over the planes that they had out. And I'm a real sucker for a good plane. Let me tell you, I love my Stanley Baileys, but I am really looking forward to trying out this Wood River. I can't wait tomorrow. Maybe I'll run out there right now. Friday, everyone. Kind of just got to work today and forgot about all of you. Sorry. Um, I am working though, even though I didn't, you know, tell you. <laughs> So I've got three cutting boards all glued up. I've got another one all milled up and ready to be glued up, but I'm out of clamps. Um, pipe clamps, I mean. I have to mill up all this down to final dimensions. These are some really large boards. Um, and when all of these are done, probably next week, they'll all go on the CNC and get logos engraved on them the customer, the company that purchased this. Yes, that's right, I do corporate gifts. Hmm, yes. Anyway, uh, oh, one other thing, hold up. The other thing I wanted to tell you is working on dust collection for my Craftsman planer. Didn't come with anything, um, but I picked up this uh, big gulp dust hood and I added some magnets to it. Y'all know I love magnets. And for the most part, when I pop it on the back, it works pretty well. I mean, it does a decent job. We get a little bit of crap out the sides. But the real big issue is that when I attach the four inch hose to it, it's too heavy and just like rips it down. So, you know, kind of canoodling, noodling, tossing that around in my noodle. I'm thinking hard about, you know, what to do with that. So yeah, I'm gonna go to work. See ya. I realized I completely forgot to tell you guys two important things. One, I've decided to officially move the Heath Street Minute from Friday mornings to sometime on Sunday. So be on the lookout for that this Sunday. Wow, what is happening here? Okay, goodbye. Um, also, my 3K giveaway will be coming up tomorrow. I will um, post that, so be on the lookout for that. I have some really great makers lined up. Now, you guys know me, I'm all about lifting up each other. I'm not really here for the the big businesses, I'm not here for the big companies. I'm here for you people, and I like to think you're all here for me too. So, teamed up with some good, small makers, 
and we're gonna give away some goodies, okay? So that's the deal. Saturday, tomorrow, be on the lookout for the 3K giveaway, and then Sunday, 8th Street Minute. That's the plan. Now I have to stick to it. Hold me accountable, okay? Well, the mask lines are prominent. That's how you know it's the end of the day. I am done for today. I got everything milled to its final dimensions. So I'll glue all that up this weekend. So Monday morning I can just start sanding and just move right along. Um, the dust collection thingy that I just shared with you guys. I guess it was better than nothing, but um, I don't know if you can see all that. Kind of still made a mess, but that's all right. It's better than nothing. Um, so yeah, that's it for me today. Oh, I did get a package from Fuji Spray today. They sent me a t-shirt. Uh, it's a large, so it's great. It's gonna make a great nightgown. Yeah, that's, you know, small people problems. I'm not terribly small, but I'm a small. How's that? That, that made sense. Anyway, they also sent a spray finishing book, which I'm actually looking forward to reading that. I think that's gonna be interesting. It's geeky and right up my alley. Okay, I'm done. Have a good weekend. Talk to you tomorrow.